Hello all, welcome to my channel. The topic we are going to discuss today is about INS Vikrant. INS Vikrant is India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier. Now let us see what is the current issue in news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 2nd September will commission INS Vikrant, India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier. So, as we heard that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will commission INS Vikrant on 2nd September. The commissioning of the warship will make a milestone in the nation's commitment towards Atmanirbhar Bharat that is self-reliant India. The commissioning of this indigenously built warship INS Vikrant will also be a great step of the nation to become self-reliant in terms of defense technology. Now let us see what is an aircraft carrier. An aircraft carrier is a warship that serves as a seagoing airbase. Aircraft carrier is a warship that act as an airbase in the sea where the flight can land and also take off from that base. It is equipped with a full length flight deck and facilities for carrying arming, deploying and recovering of aircraft. That is it has the facility to arm the aircraft to carry it to act as a launching platform for the aircraft etc. It acts as a base in the ocean for landing and launching of aircraft. Aircraft carriers are among the largest warships of a fleet. As we know there are other warships also destroyers, corvettes, frigates etc. When compared to those kind of ships aircraft carriers are relatively very large. And it is also the most valuable ships of a nation. Only few nations in the world have it. Now let us see about INS Vikrant. It is the largest warship to have ever been built in India. It is the largest warship that is built in India. And it is also the first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier in India. As we know we have other aircraft carriers also. The currently only active aircraft carrier in India is INS Vikramaditya. But it is made in Russia. So it is the first indigenously designed aircraft carrier in India. This will put India in an elite club of nations which has the capacity to build such a giant warship. As we know only very few nations in the world have such capability to build a complex ship such as aircraft carrier in the world. So the commissioning of the INS Vikrant will put India among such elite nations which is a great step for the progress of our nation. This ship INS Vikrant is designed by Warship Design Bureau. I repeat it is designed by Warship Design Bureau of the Indian Navy. It is constructed by Cochin Shipyard Limited. You should also note that point. It is constructed by Cochin Shipyard Limited. It is named after its predecessor which played a key role during the 1971 war against Pakistan for the liberation of Bangladesh. Earlier we had an aircraft carrier which was also named INS Vikrant. So this ship is actually named after that aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. And the earlier one played a huge role in the 1971 Bangladesh liberation war. And as we know it is the first indigenously built aircraft carrier in India. It is made with 76% indigenization. It is not 100% indigenous but it is made with 76% indigenization. Now let us see what are the significance of having a new aircraft carrier for India. INS Vikrant's induction strengthens India's defense. It will strengthen India's defense and in the process makes it a part of the elite set of countries that have such capability. So it will make India an elite nation with advanced technology. It will also strengthen our defense forces. Induction of this warship can indirectly act as a warning for China who is building its presence in the Indian Ocean. As we can see recently China has been following an aggressive policy in the Indo-Pacific and in the Indian Ocean. So by induction of this ship 
we can also send an indirect an indirect warning to china and restrict it, uh, its activities it will strengthen our naval capacity i repeat it will strengthen the capacity of our navy it can strengthen our maritime protection also having an aircraft carrier can also improve the efficiency of our aerial operations another significant point is that induction of ins vikrant can make india a blue water navy a blue water navy is a navy that has the power to demonstrate its strength across the high sea that is in the international waters having two aircraft carriers india has gained more power and can demonstrate its strength in the high waters also now let us see what are the capacities of ins vikrant the vikrant is equipped with 32 medium range surface to air missiles ins vikrant has 32 medium range surface to air missiles it will also be loaded with ak630 rotary cannons it will also have ak630 rotary cannons which are close in weapon systems it will also have the kavaj anti missile naval decoy system it will ins vikrant also have kavaj anti missile naval decoy system the vikrant has the capacity to hold a maximum of 30 aircraft and helicopters which is actually a very big deal in the ocean vikrant has the capacity to hold a maximum of 30 aircraft and helicopter at once so it will improve the efficiency of our aerial operations in the sea the vikrant can accommodate a crew of up to 1600 people the maximum capacity that the vikrant can accommodate is 1600 people it has the it has a cruising speed of 18 knots the average speed of this ship is 18 knots knots is indicate is a unit of the speed of the ship and the maximum speed of ins vikrant can go up to 28 knots the average speed is 18 knots and the maximum speed is 28 knots it has a maximum range of 7500 nautical miles ins vikrant has a maximum range of 7500 nautical miles now let us see what is the significance of made in india as of now only a few nations has the capacity to build an aircraft carrier on its own so, these nations are us uk russia china and france and recently india has also joined them which is a matter of which is a, which is a proud moment for us indians it is demonstrated it demonstrated india's defense and technological capabilities to the world so by building an aircraft carrier on its own india has demonstrated its defense capabilities and its technological advancement also so it will act or it will open a way for expanding our defense exports in the future which can flourish our economy and it is also a big step towards self reliance as of now most of the weapon systems that we buy are from russia or other foreign countries like israel us etc so moving towards self reliance will give us an opportunity to reduce our dependency on such nations and the and we can also exports these advanced technologies to other countries to boost our economy the only aircraft carrier that is present in the indian navy as of now is ins vikramaditya the only active aircraft carrier in the indian navy as of now is ins vikramaditya but it is made in russia so we have to build so we have to depend on other nations earlier but now as we build our own aircraft carrier it is a great step for the progress of our nation with this we are ending our lecture if you like this video please do subscribe the channel and like the video and write down your feedbacks in the comment section thank you